Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you my vintage perfume collection. I am super excited. Um, I have been planning doing this video for a little while, and I've just kind of put it off, but I'm excited that uh, today I will be showing you. And so I just wanted to show you some vintage perfume, everything I have in my collection. Um, I did a vintage makeup collection video so you can definitely check that out on my channel but basically this will be all my vintage perfume and I am super excited I don't have too many old really old perfumes um, but I am excited to continue collecting I am new to the game of collecting I think I've been collecting vintage perfume for probably I think I got my first one a couple years ago but Really, I started more so collecting vintage items um, this past year in 2021. So I'm new to collecting, but I really enjoy it. I'm also going to show you some current um, perfumes as well. I have a couple in my collection that I think are kind of vintage -y looking, and I just want to share my current perfume collection as well as vintage. So yeah, before I get started, I'm wearing the Cinderella Sigma Beauty Princess palette today. The sun is coming in a little bit, um, but I did more of a gold neutral look. I really enjoyed this palette. And then I also am wearing the Bethame Chocolate Kiss lipstick. So I just wanted to share that because I don't really think I've worn this ever. I think this might be the first time wearing it, but nonetheless let's get into it so i have a lot of avon i really enjoy vintage avon and i guess i'll start out though instead of starting with avon i think i'll start out with my first vintage perfume uh product or you know first vintage perfume is this little pink swirl perfume bottle that's what it, they called it when i bought it i think i only paid like 10 15 dollars for it and they called it the pink swirl perfume bottle and I do not know I don't have any name of the brand if you know definitely let me know but the pink color it's like a very light pink and it has that like detailing it caught my eye at an antique store near my parents and I just really enjoyed this look it has a gold top and then of course the little spritzer I put in water and so I actually use this sometimes to wet my um my beauty blender sometimes but um I don't always really use it I just think it looks good with product in it but um there was no perfume in it when I found it and you just kind of spray and it'll you know <laughs> that's how you'd use it and the spray still works it's like a very little tiny hole but it still definitely works and so yeah I don't really know this is kind of a mystery item I don't know what year it's from and I don't know what brand but I really enjoy it and I always have this on display it's my only one with the little spritzer so this makes me feel like it's pretty old or you know vintage but I don't really know so if you have any information, let me know. I did spot this at in an Instagram account. I think it was Dollhouse, D-A-H-L House. They had the same one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have that. So maybe I should reach out to her. But anyways, very, very cute. That was my first one I ever got. And then we'll go into vintage Avon now. So these are from the 70s. That one I definitely think is before the 70s, but now the rest of them are 70s and on. So first I wanted to share this California Perfume Co. Stained Glass. I got this, I think this was 1974, their like anniversary item. But um, it's just so gorgeous when it's in the sunlight, it like reflects. And I feel like this is such a cool... Um, I don't know such a cool like I love makeup items that aren't makeup but they're like different um, maybe a sign from a company or something that they advertised with or you know different like makeup related things I really enjoy and so this is kind of like a perfume stained glass and the little like the girl on it is just so gorgeous with the flowers 
and um, Avon. Before they were Avon, they were California Perfume Co. So I thought that was just kind of cool. And I did purchase this myself for myself. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 1976 holiday gift. And I have like the original. I should have grabbed it. I have the original um, like papers that came with it. Like it had the little 1976 like explaining of it that originally came with it. But yeah, super cool like interesting item I feel like. So yeah, I did purchase that myself online on eBay I believe. I don't remember how much I paid. I think it was like $20. It was pretty affordable. Then I have the California Perfume Co. 1975 anniversary keepsake. And this is fully, you know, this is a full bottle. And what really attracted me to this, I actually wanted this for a while before I actually found it at an antique store. I found it near my boyfriend's parents at an antique store kind of close to them. And what attracted me to this is the, of course, the little pink bow, but also the flowers here. And I just, I collect vintage Avon, so I just thought it was cool. So this one I just think is so cute and girly and such a cute little thing. Like you could keep it on your vanity or, you know, on in the bathroom. Like I just think it's such a cute little decor item and it's fully, you know, fully stocked. <laughs> very strong smelling but I kind of enjoy that old <laughs> that old strong perfume smell so there is that oh and I have the original box of this as well maybe I should grab it it is I think I showed it if you are interested in seeing the box it's very similar similar to this flower design it is in my recent video the my bookshelf tour you could see the box if you want to see the box of that then um another avon this was from 70 1976 as well this was actually a gift from one of my amazing co-workers and it is a the coach fragrance i'm sorry ochre ochre cologne and i think it was like the coach because it is a little pumpkin carriage with a heart right there and a gold top how gorgeous this is empty but still so cute i absolutely love the packaging of this one and it was the most thoughtful gift ever because i love princesses i absolutely love carriages as well like cinderella and carriages i'm really interested in i like i love that i love that you can still smell this there's no perfume in here but this is very strong cologne smelling this doesn't even smell like perfume, it smells like cologne, which I guess was used interchangeably back then, but um, this smells more like a strong cologne. But um, yeah, so cute. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. It was like the sweetest gift ever, and I was so thankful to receive this. Um, and this was 1976 Avon. Then we have some more 70s Avon. We have these super cute little girls. I mentioned this in my um, one of my favorites videos, but I just think they're adorable. Some people may find them creepy, but I think they are so cute. So this one, they are different. Not They're not all cologne. So this one is the, so basically they are, if you know Disney, the Small World Ride which is, gets kind of annoying, but it's so fun. The Small World, this is Avon and Disney like Small World collection. And so they're supposed to be all different nationalities. And I don't remember exactly which one is which. I think, oh, I did write them down. This is the 1971 English Girl Bubble Bath. This is the English Girl. And then Look at the little design. I just think it's they're so cute. And then you pop their heads off and there's, let me see if I can smell anything. Oh, it just smells like an old basement. <laughs> but there is the English Girl bubble bath. And she might be my favorite because I really love the purple outfit here. But we have her. I got them all at, um... 
Oh, they would have been three and $3.50 each when you first bought them, but I purchased them for around $40 for all three, like with shipping and everything. It probably came to around $40, $35 or $40 for all three, which I thought was a pretty good deal. This is the non-tier shampoo, Avon Small World, and she is the Senorita non-tier sh shampoo. She is so cute. Let's smell this. Yeah, it just smells like an old basement. <laughs> but come on. I just think it's so cute and I want them all. I keep them in my closet on display. Because <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're a little funny. Um, yeah, they're all pretty much empty. This is the cologne. Small World Cologne. And this one was called Hula Girl. It has a little accessory this one screws off as opposed to pops off and this one smells like like an old type of perfume but that's what it looks like okay gotta screw her, her head back on <laughs> i just think they're so funny and cute i think i put i hope i put her head on back right so those are her the avon small world little items. I'm so excited I have those in my collection now. I got those on Macari. And then next we have some 80s items. I think that was it for this one. I'm not sure if it's 80s. I saw someone say it was 1981. However, oh I didn't mention, I'm sorry, the Senorita non-tier shampoo. This one is 1971. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then this one the English Girl was 1971, but this one was 1970. Okay, now we're getting on to, so this one I saw one person say it was 1981, but then another said 1970s, so this is either 1970s or 1981. But this is the Love Chimes Roses Roses Cologne, and I think it's so cute. This is from Avon, it has the cute little gold top, and it's supposed to look like a bell, so it, you know, looks like kind of like a bell. And love chimes, roses, roses on the back. And look at the little hearts on it. I thought that was so cute. And it is a like pink fragrance. You know, it's full. It's like brand new, new old stock. And um, I can't for the life of me open it, and neither can my boyfriend. And he usually can open these things, but <laughs> anyway. I got this for $6.99, um, or I think Randy actually purchased it for me the six, at six, for $6.99 at an antique store, and it did come with a box, however, there was another Love Chimes little one, but it was like in a yellow perfume, and I think they thought, oh, this is pink, so we'll give her the pink box, and so this is actually the wrong box, this is for the other one but I actually like the pink box better I don't know why the pink perfume had a yellow or you know they had like opposing boxes but the other one was roses roses uh, but either way I thought the box was really cute I wanted to show it even if it's not completely correct but it looked the same it was just a different color of the other box but with the bow and the heart it's just so cute so that is a cute little um, cologne from Avon and then we also at the same antique store my boyfriend also got me the Avon Frisky Friends Hawaiian White Ginger Cologne and I had <laughs> I had to get this Frisky Friends perfume it is new old stock as well it looks brand new and it is just a cute little kitty with a pink yarn ball uh, as the top this one does open and it's very very strong you know I would never use these <laughs> products I want to mention that as well yeah it's really really strong I don't know if I would have even liked that even in if I was in the present time of 80s but yeah this is the Hawaiian white ginger cologne and I think they had this fragrance I think they had a lot of these fragrances it's like the ochre this one they had them in many different packaging it was just their popular perfume but they had different options of colognes you know in different packaging I believe so 
this is that cat and I just had to get it it's so so cute with the little pink yarn ball I thought that was such clever packaging and that one was $14.99 at the the antique store I got it at and then this is the box <laughs> yeah so those were really cute and then I think that was it for vintage and then I'm going to quickly show you some of my current perfumes that I wanted to just mention in case you were wondering some current perfumes that I have. I didn't include, I do have like some spray perfumes from Bath and Body Works, but those are more body mists, I think they're called. So I wanted to just share with you the actual perfumes that I have. So this is the Ariana Grande uh, Sweet Light Candy perfume and it has this little puffer ball or puff, I don't know, it's not really a spray, but it's just there for decoration, but it's this light pink. And this one smells really, really nice. I really enjoy this. This was, I believe all of these were gifts. The three perfumes I'm about to show you. Oh, that smells so good. I love this one. I love the Ariana Grande ones. I did use up Moonlight. I, I wonder if I kept the perfume bottle because Moonlight was the same type of packaging, but a different, a little bit different, but really pretty. And I wonder if I kept it because it was so cute. But yeah, this was this is sweet like candy, and I really like the smell of it. I just sprayed it. Very like fruity, cit not citrusy, fruity and girly smell. And I ask for perfume for Christmas a lot of the time or for my birthday, so that's why these are gifts. I believe they, I think that one, and this, no, this one my grandma Lonnie definitely gave to me, but I can't remember, I think my parents gave me that one. This one is the Ariana Grande Thank You Next, and I love the little broken heart, and you just take it out this way. This one smells so good as well. It's like the same kind of fruity, girly. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, kind of candy smelling. I don't know, so good. I wanted to share that, and um, I really like the packaging. I think it's interesting. And then... Lastly, from my Aunt Gigi and I call her, her name's Juliet, but we call her Aunt Gigi and Uncle Andy. They gave me this Juicy Couture one a couple years ago and I still have it. I just think it's so pretty and I've been using it as decoration for years. But it is the Juicy Couture Couture Eau de Perfume Spray. <laughs> and it's like this yellow or orangey color. This one's super strong. I do enjoy it, but I feel like it's not, a, like I, I have to be wanting a specific smell for this one. So I do use it, but I use it sparingly because it's like a very strong, um, more of a like nighttime smell. Like, I don't know. Not like musky. I don't know. I'm so bad at describing perfume, so I hope this video wasn't too crazy, but it is a good smell. It's just a little, um strong for my liking. It's maybe not as fruity, but a little more like sultry, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that is it. I'm trying to look around, and make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I just wanted to go through and mention and show my vintage perfume collection and also show you some of my current perfumes that are in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Definitely let me know if you want more vintage content of any kind. I really enjoy collecting and um, I really enjoy the packaging and the differences of different eras. I think it's really fun, so definitely let me know. But have a great rest of your day. Bye.